bump. Look at him. Look at his body. Oh, my God. Crazy. Not meant to bend in that direction. <laughs> no, not at all. I did get to watch uh, Slammiversary okay. last night. TNA. TNA. TNA uh, in um, Canada. They uh, love Canada. Well, this was, I think this was the first time that they were there. Um, what did they have paid? 4,500, I believe. Yeah, they had a, they had a nice house. I saw those pictures. So nice. Oh I my had God, it looked great. I had flashbacks to EC Dub and, and the pay-per-views we used to put on and the building looked just like some of the buildings that we used to run in, but really solid show. Really solid. I thought from top to bottom, I did not watch the pre-show. And there were like two or three matches beforehand. So I didn't get to see those. Uh, but I watched the actual pay-per-view. Let me just, I, I have to put over PCO. PCO, first of all, everybody's talking about the Wyatts and their crazy. The intro that he had. What, you don't like it now? I thought no, you the Wyatts to talk about. I thought you, oh, you still, yeah. Oh, you no, they're horrible. So we can PCO, talk about that after. They're horrible. PCO is like a monster. He's like a Frankenstein. Yeah, oh, he's right? all, no, I love, I love. They it. had a it. coffin. They dimmed the lights and it's like gray and stuff. And they had the, the he, well, I don't think it was him. I think it was a dummy, but they, they had somebody come down from the, the ceiling on on like a harness or something and they put them right away they grab them they unhook them they put them in this casket and then this guy comes out and he's like i don't know if he was a shaman i don't know what he was doing but he was banging on the coffin and he's doing all this voodoo and all this stuff and then the door opens and then he gets this like it reminded me of a taser and he just sticks pco and wakes him up and he pops out of the coffin and he's ready to go. And it was, it was a scene right out of a movie. It was so cool looking. Um, but he, yeah, it's, well, it says he's alive. That's what it says. When yeah. You, like, like he's Frankenstein. So you're buzzing yeah, Frankenstein yeah. to wake right. him up. Yeah. It was, so, it was awesome. I've never seen that with him before. So that was for, I don't know if they do that every week with him or I, if this is a pay-per-view thing, I don't know, but it was so cool looking. He took one of the nastiest bumps I've ever seen. And I've seen nasty stuff. You know, I'm from EC Dub. I've seen a lot. They set up two steel, uh, steel chairs back to back. The backs of the chairs are back to back. The out Here, he takes a chair shot to the back, right? I got a tall lead on a Montreal. This guy's a monster. This is AJ yeah, Prince's and his crew yeah, and this one huge. guy he comes okay so yeah this is a little behind but here we go picks him up now look at this look at the chairs he like raises oh. him on the top of the chair oh. wow. not on the seat of the chairs on the the back of the chairs, like the two, I've never seen that ever. I've never seen that before. That looked yeah. like it could have broke his back, his spine. Sick, sick bump. Look at him. Look at his body. Oh my God. Crazy. Not meant to bend in that direction. <laughs> no, not at all. And he's no spring chicken, you know, he's like 56 years old. No, what? I mean, it, and it's like without the, it's just so funny to see him without the stuff and then with the stuff and then he's doing this. It's like, but he's fantastic. Yeah, he's, he's great. He can go like this match yeah. is great. Like, I don't even, I want, like I said, I watched from top to bottom and I thought every match was pretty damn good, but that bump was like, whoa. Like, I felt that in my back. That's how bad it was. Um, but we had, uh, we have a new champ, Nick Nemeth. Uh, yeah. There was a six man for for the um, heavyweight championship, and and Nick overcame, and uh, you know he's walking out with the belt. Jordan Grace retained against uh, Ash by Elegance, who, by the way, has beautiful ring gear. I must say, she. I don't know who makes her gear, but girl, your ring gear is on fire. Loved it. She looked beautiful. Um, and then PCO walked out 
with the Digital Media Championship. And then what's that other belt that they hold? Um, he had two belts. He's the uh, Digital Media and International Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. International Wrestling Heavyweight. So what's the difference between those belts? One is uh, digital media. For, no, no, no. I, guess, I mean, between online. like, no, between Nick's belt and this belt. World, one is heavyweight. world heavyweight. And the other is international. International. So that the, that doesn't count in the U.S. It's just interna international. I guess it's just one of those uh, semantic things. Oh, you know, that man. They... But my boys in the system let me down because they lost the belt to ABC. Ooh. So, um, yeah, that was uh, that was sad. I felt bad, you know. But uh, what did uh, what do you think about the inclusion of all the NXT guys in their their event? So there was uh, the one match that they had. It was um, it was a it was six man again. They had another six man. It was uh, the Rascals. And then it was uh, no quarter cash crew, right? And right. I'm looking at the one kid, and I'm going to myself, man, he reminds me of, like, this old school wrestler from, like, the 80s, like the Von Erics. And here, I, I look him up, and he's um, Regal's son. Regal's son, yeah. I didn't even know that. And then I look at his face, and I look at his mannerisms, like, oh, my God, yeah, I yeah. can tell. Um, I thought it was weird that they had, like, an NXT guy – on the baby face side and then NXT all three NXT guys on the heel side like um is is the one guy done with NXT is is he now TNA or is he going was he just for because they were they were saying like he used to be in TNA so these are his friends and he's helping out his friends and I think he went from TNA to NXT right but is, and he, then, com no, is I, he coming back I, or is he going? No, I think he's in NXT. He's I think NXT. That because of this weird relationship. Yeah, I know that. But it was just, it was confusing because there were four NXT guys and two TNA guys in the match. And and that's what I don't get about this relationship. So does that mean we're going to see uh, Nick Nemeth coming on with the TNA world title? No, the you already said NXT? That. But, but again, this is what I don't get. I just don't get this relationship. I, it it, ha it was cool. You did the Jordan Grace thing. You got a pop. That's wonderful. But now, like, you're sending your talent that needs to be on your TV to their pay per view. So I Joe just Henry don't. He, I don't like it. Joe Henry is recurring in NXT, and you know he's very over on that brand. So I don't know that before the pay-per-view, there were kind of, I don't know who said it, but there were rumors like, oh, they might put the belt on Joe Hendry. And then I was like, no, nope, they didn't do it. No, yeah, I mean, belt, it's, so. it's just weird. Cause I mean, it doesn't, I mean, you know, you want to draw parallels between, you know, WWF guys going to ECW, you know, and, and back and forth. It's just, it's, this one doesn't make a lot of sense to me outside of the surprise of, Jordan Grace came to NXT. She was in a battle royal. She got thrown out. Blah, blah, blah. Or no, Henry was in a battle royal. He got thrown out. She came in. She had the title match. That was it. Excuse me. She didn't She didn't win. What else are you going to do? You're just going to keep random NXT. Oh, my God. We have a mystery opponent. Oh, my God. It's so-and-so from NXT. I can't believe it. So it, Every it, it helps TNA more than it helps WWE. We've established that. So having these NXT guys come to TNA, that's just kind of shock value. Um, a working relationship is is always a good thing because they can pull off some some cool angles. But th this one match, I just was like, you know, I'm not an avid viewer. So I didn't understand why. Because um, all the guys in the Rascals are TNA guys, correct? No, one of them is now an NXT guy. I mean, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, the two. That's why oh, the I, other guys, the 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 quarter catch guys, whatever. They're NXT guys. They're all NXT guys, and all then NXT the, guys. these two are TNA, and then the one guy is NXT. So we have four NXT guys and two TNA guys in this match. Right. Yeah. I I didn't. I I just I couldn't understand why. I guess I would have to watch more again. That's that's on me. 
there's got to be some kind of angle with the the lone NXT guy going to the babyface side because why wouldn't he be on the side of his company? Right, exactly. Yeah. It... So there's something I'm missing here, and I know when fans tell me, "Well, you should watch the product more." <laughs> Like, why are you talking about it when you don't even watch the product? I'm trying to watch it when I can, but sometimes I, I'm like tonight, I was just confused when I was going back over my notes. I was like, I don't really get this. Uh, is there an angle involved with it? Or did they just throw this guy on this team? You know what I mean? There's, yeah. there's got to be a backstory that I'm missing. But anyway, they had a good match. Everybody had good matches. I thought everybody had a good match. PCO is now engaged to Steph Delander. She, she proposed, <laughs> gave him a, a, this ring that I don't even know what the hell it was. This big thing was on his finger. Um, uh, the girls' match was great. I thought Jordan and Ash killed it. Really good stuff. And the six-man was great. And then um, Mike Bailey is the new X Division champion. So that yeah. Mike Bailey's really good too. Do you know anything about him? I've just seen him here on uh, TNA. It's really uh, good. Yeah, I heard his name before, but I've seen him on TNA. He's got, you know, got a huge bush. Yeah. Speedball. Yeah. Well, he's, I mean, lots of new belts. Uh, you know, the belts were changing hands. So I, overall, I thought it was a really good pay per view. You know, yeah. I got to start catching their program more because I do enjoy it. I really do. They have some really good workers there. So, um, yeah, I'm just checking out the line. I mean, the lineup was solid. I'm just looking at, you know, what they had. I mean, even you got Matt Hardy and what, uh, oh, yeah, Matt. He, he, Dirty, opened Dirty Dango. That was, that was a fun match. Now, the thing that I didn't see, obviously, they said it happened on Thursday. Uh, they took out his wife, they took out Jeff. I would have liked a B roll of what happened to be shown unless I missed it. I didn't see it. They just explained what happened and you saw it on Thursday night, but I didn't see it in, you know, on the pay-per-view. Usually they do like a clips. They show like a recap of what happened and I didn't see anything, but I would have liked to have seen what happened to, to uh, Rebecca and Jeff and the build up. Yeah. You got to give a recap. They talked about it, but they didn't show it. I don't yeah. think they should. I didn't see it unless, uh, again, uh, if I missed it, that's on me, but I did not see any physical film from it. I just heard the announcers talking about uh, what happened on Thursday and blah, blah, blah. And so I didn't have a visual to look at, but I understood while he was going after the guy. I feel like uh, some of the biggest pops of the night was obviously PCO because they're in Canada, but the French announced team, they were <laughs> so over. Everybody was cheering for them, and it was it was just it was a good time, and I and I'm happy for the company selling out. You know, it it looked great, the building looked great. Yeah. It's so nice when there's a lot of people there, and you get to work in front of a big crowd. So um, hopefully, it continues this way uh, for TNA, and they continue to grow. 